Hi Capricorn, this is Jackie Tunnel. This is your general reading for the week of December 12, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, don't forget these are general readings to, to take with you what resonates and leave what does not behind for someone else. Okay, so Capricorn, um, if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. Also, we will have an extended today, extending those messages out. Uh, they're super affordable. It gives you access to all of the extended readings plus some bonus readings, okay? And you will find that by finding the join button next to the subscribe button. Okay, so one of the signs that may or may not resonate, a couple of signs actually, are Pisces and or a Leo may or may not resonate with you guys. Uh, this is a week of getting what you want. It's also a week of getting small wishes granted, okay? New opportunities will present themselves, and it's time to make decisions that you've been putting off. Uh, expect powerful, strong new beginnings. Um, this could be something you've been manifesting since spring of this year, to be quite honest with you, okay? But it looks like the energies are really good. So let's get started here. Capricorn, your first card up is the King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Gemini energy, but you're definitely coming in with some type of good business deal or financial stability. And with that, we have the moon. And the moon, you know, this is about divine timing. So when I speak to you about divine timing, I'm talking about things falling into place, certain events falling into place, okay? And we have the Knight of Cups, an unexpected offer in love. With this, we have the Page of Pentacles. Definitely a good business deal coming in. You may also very well be dealing with another Capricorn. Okay. In the center of the reading, we have the Death card. Okay. This is the most powerful new beginning that you can have in a deck. Um, this is endings, closures, reverse, new beginnings. So it's one door closes, one door opens. But remember this, it's going to be emotional because you cannot have a new beginning without having an ending. Okay. And with that, I have the Seven of Pentacles. Working and gaining, planting that seed, watching it grow. Some of you do it for raises, promotion, bonus checks, commission checks, something to that effect. And we have the Six of Pentacles, something coming in to restore your financial balance. Actually, you may not feel it right now, but you will be able to help someone else out financially uh, very soon, within the next few weeks. The Fool card energy, you know, this says, you know, you're getting ready to take a leap of faith. You're getting ready to jump into both feet. We'll see what that's all about. And we have the Six of Cups, reconnecting, reuniting with someone from your past. So, let's go a little bit further with these messages here. Okay, Capricorn. We have the Queen of Swords. You may be dealing with a Virgo-type energy here. Um, this says that someone is coming out. I'm not going to say unwanted, but unexpected advice. And it's actually very good advice for you. On the moon, we have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups says that there's someone or something that you're walking away from that no longer serves a purpose for you. On the Knight of Cups is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, total victory and complete success. Um, with that, we have, um, you're surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Some of you may um, be public speaking or you're in the spotlight of some sorts, okay? And then we have the Nine of Pentacles, financial independence. This is definitely a way to make things happen financially, Capricorn. And on the Death Card Energy, you have the Hermit. You know, the Hermit says you might feel a little bit scattered. You might not believe it. But dig down deep and trust it. This shows definitely that you are on the right path. On that um, Seven of Pentacles, we have again the King of Pentacles. Financial stability, Gemini energy. On the Six of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords. Two sixes together. Thoughts of love, they are right there. This is leaving the troubled waters and heading off into the calm. The Fool comes with, what are you getting ready to jump into? We will find out on the extended. Taurus Energy also says someone's watching you, so we'll dig deeper into that. And on the Six of Cups, the person you're reuniting with could very well be in your love life. Doesn't have to be. Now, let me say this. You are going to be um, 
you've got some intensity in the love life and that applies to my singles as well as my couples your bonus card is the tower there is a tower card moment that's probably why that hermit is asking you to dig deep and know you're on the right path that tower card says you know this is your anger your temper um always brief and passing always leading to something better i've never seen a tower card that led to something worse okay so digging in deep what are you leaping into who was watching you and what's the tower card all about so to join the extended hit the join button on the subscribe button below and if this is where we part ways you guys have a fantastic week uh don't forget jackie for personal readings and i'll see you soon bye